Incredibly brilliant images have been released this week from the world's largest telescope at the Rubin Observatory in Chile. The largest telescope which is in Chile and has just released its first set of pictures. Far beyond the swirl of our Milky Way, deeper than any human-made eye has ever gazed, the James Webb Space Telescope GWS has just uncovered a mystery so staggering that it challenges the very foundation of how we understand the universe. As its golden honeycomb mirror captured the faintest glimmers of light from the cosmic dawn, it stumbled upon something entirely unexpected. An enormous, ancient structure of galaxies arranged in a formation that defies the current laws of cosmology. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The discovery emerged as Webb peered into a region of deep space designated as Sears 1124, a small patch of sky intended to be just another high redshift survey window into the infant universe. What astronomers saw instead was a colossal ring-shaped structure, a nearly perfect circle of galaxies spaced equidistantly and arranged with eerie precision. It wasn't simply the formation that sent shockwaves through the astronomical community, but its age. Webb had effectively peered more than 13 billion years into the past and found this immense ring just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, at a time when the universe by conventional theory shouldn't have been capable of organizing such complexity. The structure was massive, spanning over 1.3 billion light years in diameter, and it wasn't a loose cluster of galaxies strewn about by gravitational quirks. The ring held a geometric elegance, a symmetry rarely observed even in the current epoch of the universe. Each galaxy seemed to be in communication with its neighbors, as if part of a grand design, or perhaps the result of some unknown organizing force beyond the gravitational scaffolding of dark matter. This level of organization so soon after the Big Bang contradicts one of the central tenets of the standard model of cosmology. That structure formation takes billions of years through the slow aggregation of matter. Current theories suggest that following the Big Bang, the universe expanded rapidly during a period known as inflation. Tiny quantum fluctuations during this time were stretched to cosmic scales, eventually seeding the formation of galaxies and galaxy clusters. However, these seeds were irregular and chaotic, their growth turbulent and violent. The cosmic web, the vast network of dark matter and galaxies, was shaped over eons, not in mere hundreds of millions of years. For a structure like this to exist so early defies that timeline. It hints at the possibility that there were forces at work in the early universe that we have yet to detect or comprehend. One potential implication is that our understanding of dark matter may be flawed or incomplete. Dark matter, an invisible component that makes up the majority of the universe's mass, is thought to serve as the scaffolding upon which visible matter accumulates. If dark matter behaved differently in the early universe, perhaps interacting with itself or normal matter in unexpected ways, it could potentially explain how such a formation could emerge so rapidly. Alternatively, it might suggest the influence of entirely new forms of matter or energy that have yet to be theorized, let alone detected. This anomaly also calls into question the assumed uniformity of the universe on large scales, a principle known as the cosmological principle. For decades, astronomers have operated under the assumption that when viewed on a sufficiently grand scale, the universe should appear homogeneous and isotropic, essentially the same in every direction. This discovery, however, points to a universe that may have had regional variations in density or structure far more extreme than previously believed. Such a revelation could shift how we model the early moments after the Big Bang and the processes that followed. The implications stretch even into the realm of physics itself. If this structure is not an artifact of lensing, coincidence, or data error, and all preliminary checks suggest it is very real, it might suggest the existence of previously unknown laws of gravity operating at cosmic scales. Modified gravity theories like MOND, Modified Newtonian dynamics or even more exotic frameworks such as emergent gravity could gain new relevance. Perhaps gravity itself behaved differently in the early universe, pulling matter into place with a precision we can't yet explain. Even more startling is the idea that we may be seeing the fingerprints of an unknown organizing principle, something that hints at cosmic coherence rather than chaos. Some physicists have speculated, quietly, 
for fear of venturing too far into the philosophical or speculative. That information itself might play a formative role in the universe's evolution. If quantum information, or some other foundational substrate, serves as a kind of hidden architecture beneath reality, then discoveries like this might be the first clues pointing us in that direction. Another layer of mystery comes from the nature of the galaxies in the ring. These are not immature, half-formed collections of stars. Instead, several of them appear surprisingly evolved, with large stellar populations and evidence of complex chemical enrichment. In other words, they already contain heavier elements, metals that should have taken several generations of stars to forge. For such chemical complexity to exist this early suggests either accelerated star formation, earlier than expected stellar birth, or a process entirely unknown to current astrophysics. And if these galaxies formed earlier, that in itself raises further questions. Were there prior structures or dark galaxies invisible to us but acting as incubators for star formation far earlier than our models allow? Or were the conditions of the early universe so different that star and galaxy formation followed an entirely different pathway? One that Webb is only now beginning to expose. This discovery also feeds into one of the most tantalizing open questions in cosmology the nature of time and causality. In a universe where light from this structure has taken over 13 billion years to reach us, we are not seeing it as it is, but as it was. A snapshot from an almost inconceivably distant past. If such complex organization existed then, what else might have formed that we cannot yet see? How much of our observable cosmos is but a sliver of a far more intricate and ordered whole? The technological prowess of the James Webb Space Telescope has undeniably changed the game. Its near-infrared instruments, sensitive enough to catch the dim glow of the first stars, are pushing humanity into an observational epoch never before possible. As it peers through cosmic dust and stretches back toward the moment of origin, it is not just filling in the blanks, it is rewriting the script. This structure, now dubbed the Dawn Ring by some astronomers, could become one of the most studied regions in the sky for decades to come. Its very existence demands re-evaluation of models ranging from galaxy evolution to the fabric of space-time itself. There's also the question of replication. Are there other such rings hidden elsewhere, waiting to be found? The universe is vast, and if this is not an anomaly but rather part of a broader, as yet unrecognized pattern, then our place in the cosmic timeline may be even stranger than we imagine. It raises the unsettling possibility that the early universe was not just a chaotic plasma soup cooling into structure, but a stage upon which far more deliberate, coherent processes were unfolding. At the heart of this mystery lies an uncomfortable but invigorating reality. We may be standing on the edge of a paradigm shift. Just as Copernicus displaced Earth from the center of the cosmos, and Einstein warped the geometry of space and time, so too might this moment redefine the scope and structure of the universe itself. Every time we think we have grasped the cosmic narrative, the universe responds with a deeper enigma, reminding us how little we truly understand. For now, astronomers and physicists are poring over the data, rerunning simulations, checking every assumption. But there is no denying the excitement and the gravity of what Webb has revealed. It's not just a collection of galaxies. It's a cosmic fingerprint, an echo from an ancient order that shouldn't exist but does. It's a message written in light across billions of years, whispering of secrets not yet known. Even among the awe-inspiring revelations that have come from JWST so far, ancient galaxies too mature for their age, black holes forming far earlier than predicted, and mysterious objects with no analogs in our current models, this ring stands apart. It's not just that it challenges a single assumption, it challenges many at once. Structure formation, cosmic inflation, the behavior of dark matter, the homogeneity of the universe, all must now be re-examined through this new lens. Scientists know the road ahead will be long. Untangling the origins of this structure, if it's even possible, will likely take years of observation and theorizing. But in that lies the beauty of science itself, not in having all the answers, but in finding the questions that move us forward. The Dawn Ring, as surreal and impossible as it appears, may be the single most important clue yet in unraveling the deeper architecture of reality. What lies beyond the ring? Could there be other patterns, 
even larger and older, hidden in the darkness. Are we witnessing a one-off miracle? Or a signature of something far greater and far stranger? An unseen cosmic order waiting to be understood? The James Webb Space Telescope, floating a million miles from Earth, is just beginning to open the curtain on these profound questions. What it has shown so far is that the universe is not just more complex than we thought, it's more complex than we can think, at least for now. But that's exactly what makes this moment so thrilling. The cosmos, it seems, still holds mysteries capable of humbling even our most advanced minds and most precise machines. And perhaps that is the truest nature of exploration, not in reaching an end, but in opening the door to a deeper, stranger beginning. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us. What are your thoughts on this James Webb deep space discovery mystery? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.